Um, hello, so I am very new to this, as, as everyone here tonight is. Um, so I thought it might be a fun idea, um, probably regrettably, to give you a list of five fun facts about myself to uh, try and help you get to know me a bit better. So, without further ado, here's fact one, which is that I am basically a nightmare of a person. Um, <laughs> Like, it's, it's nothing major, and I think everyone's kind of like this. Um, and most conversations I will walk away thinking, oh, nailed that one. But sometimes I will just, like, do the most dumb thing ever, and I will generally struggle to sleep at night. Um, um, great example of this, my first night here at uni, actually. Um, I just moved in, so I locked myself in my room, um, naturally. And so one of my new flatmates came to uh, try and introduce herself. So she knocked on my door, and, and she said, like, entirely reasonably, Hi, I'm Sadia, and, and I, I don't know why, I just said, I know. I, I... <laughs> Needless to say, I did not know. I, I hadn't even met her before, and let alone like talk to her at all. Um, and I did not talk to her much after, so that was all right. Um, uh, so in, in general, I think I'm not that great at introductions, as is probably quite apparent. Um, but yeah, I think... Um, there's this sort of moment when you're meeting me and you say, you're, you're halfway through the, uh, the TED lowdown, as it were. And, um, and there's been a few awkward moments, um, case in point. And, uh, <laughs> um, and there's been, you know, like a few self-deprecating jokes that kind of like verge on alarming, but they're all right. Um, oh, oh so, yeah, so basically you're just thinking, okay, so this guy's an awful person. And um, I, I would not disagree with you there. But then you hear fun fact two. And that would be that I'm a vegetarian. And then you're thinking, woo! This guy's a hero! <laughs> Single-handedly saving every single animal on this godforsaken planet? Who knew? Just wondering where his, like, passions were. Turns out he just loves animals. And, like, yeah, I, I, you're right in that I kind of am, um, sort of, like, reasonably alright with being a vegetarian. Um, it's not actually because I love animals, it's actually because I hate plants, and I want to see every single last one of them destroyed as quickly as possible, and I'm just doing my part. <laughs> Um, for, a, for a third fun fact, I've uh, only ever had one job. Um, I know, right, who'd em employ this loser? Um, well, I'll, I'll tell you who. It's only bloody ruddy moon pig. <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm talking about the uh, novelty card company. Um, whenever they were looking for somebody, I was like, whoa, this sounds right on my street. And you know, it generally was kind of right opposite their offices in Guernsey. And, um, but let me tell you, I was not prepared for some of the things I saw whilst working there. Because, well, I don't know how to describe this, but so many of the cards were nudes. Like, I don't know, <laughs> honestly, I wish I was joking, which, but seriously, half of them were nudes. And I cannot tell you how much faith you lose in humanity when you're sifting through a pack of cards and you find one that says, like, um, oh, it has a weird nude on the front. You open it, it says, like, happy birthday, Nan. <laughs> I don't even get me started on the with deeper sympathy ones, Jesus. <laughs> um, fourth fun fact, I uh, have no mirror in my bathroom. Um, yeah, I know, I'm really sorry, I'm scraping the bottom of the barrel for these, but like, um, if stand-up has taught me one thing so far, it's like, I'm painfully uninteresting. Um, so yeah, that's a nice thing. I uh, don't have to look at myself in the morning, which is always a plus. Um, <laughs> Not to, but it has led to some like awkward situations where I'll go in to talk to my tutor about like something relatively serious, like work or whatever, and um, I've forgotten the uh, sick temporary Hot Wheels tattoo on my neck from the night before. <laughs> Legend. Um, so I, I study film here, and don't don't worry, I'm not. That's not your fifth and final fun fact. I'm not blowing on something that lame. Um, but basically, I have a lot of downtime. Is what I'm trying to say. I have a lot of spare time, and I have a very particular favourite place ever. And that place is Ikea. Yeah. Sure, we've heard it mentioned a couple of times tonight. <laughs> no, I don't know if you've ever been, and if you haven't, what the hell? Um, would recommend. Uh, but they have these like great little pencil stands all around the shop, and they are the best thing ever. And I. Well, last year, obviously, I had a lot of downtime, and um, I went to Ikea a lot. I go to Ikea a lot, by the way. Um, so I would do this thing where I'd go to Ikea, and I would, I would just take the pencil. I sort of became a bit of a, bit of a collector. Um, <laughs> I, I, I amassed, like, a good, like, 
get a few thousand of, of the pencils by the end of the year. I'm editing my room now because I'm an idiot. And, uh, um, but yeah, so, like, basically the moral of the bat bit is that I go to my queue a lot. Um, but, um, so this, this year is winding down to an end, and I think people are starting to think about Christmas. Which you shouldn't be. Um, <laughs> but it's, but yeah, so I'm taking part in the Secret Santa, and the limit is five pounds, so obviously, what am I going to do other than buy five one pound tote bags and fill them all with Ikea pencils? Um, now this seemed like a great idea, and let me tell you it is, by the way, it's a brilliant idea. Um, but, it, well, <laughs> ran into some difficulties. <laughs> um, so I calculated I need like 10,000 pencils, um, which seems a lot, but it's surprisingly doable. And um, <laughs> I, um, I, had, I had this great, I didn't want to take them from my own stash though, um, my own personal stash, because that's, that's mine, I needed fresh pencils. So I came up with what I like to call the IKEA pencil heist. Um, <laughs> didn't go, gonna be honest with you guys, didn't go great. <laughs> didn't, didn't go great. Um, but we've, we've done some prep work, and we have this we have this technique that we like to call the meaty grab. <laughs> um, the meaty grab involves going up to an IKEA pencil station, lifting off the lid, like so, and then reaching your disgusting hands in. And taking a big old fistful of those suckers, put them in your bag for later. Um, I originally was not on board with the meaty grab, not because I'm a vegetarian, uh, uh, but because it, well, I don't know how to say it other than it's just not sporting. Um, what I've got to say to this point is so, I think it's time I tell you what Fun Fact 5 is, because Fun Fact 5 is that I got myself and three others genuinely banned from IKEA the other day for a year. I'm not proud of it, except I so am. Um, but basically, um, I think I've managed to pinpoint what went wrong, because bear in mind, I've been doing this for a good year or so, and I've had no trouble, just plain sailing. Then these suckers show up, they come to help me, and we get banned on the first heist. And, and I've realised what it is, that when I do it right, it's art. When they, like, I have finesse, they just come to it and they, they just walk all over the place. They're mental. <sighs> they treat it like a sport. It's all numbers to them. Bloody, <laughs> bloody bureaucrats. <laughs> um, so the day of the heist came and we were all standing there. There were five of us and we each had five tote bags, as, as the plan um, implied. And <laughs> um, we'd all synced our watches. Um, and we were ready to go. Uh, we, we spent a good couple of hours, you know, walking back and forth around Ikea, which is surprisingly frequent for me. And um, um, one of us actually left early, having clearly realised the house was going south and, like, making off with her own car. Um, uh, she got away scot-free, by the way. Not cool, Ikea. Um, so, yeah, so the, the remaining four of us were just waiting at the exit and, um, well, this... <laughs> don't know what to describe, other than this guy comes over and says, can we have a chat? And um, at, the, at this point we know what it's going to be, because of, of course it's like we've taken too many pencils. And um, he takes us to this small little room, and it's got like a, a table on it with this interrogation lamp. I actually recognise the lamp, it's the dear Keatling from the upstairs kitchen section. <laughs> I go to Ikea a lot. Um, but yeah, so he takes us in and he basically makes us empty out all these tote bags and it's really, really upsetting. But there is a genuine mound of pencils and it's incredible at the same time. Um, and we generally must have got a good three or four thousand, not even kidding. Like, um, they just all piled on this table and they, some of them start spilling off and I try and be helpful. I go to pick them up and the guy like snaps at me and says, no, leave them. And it, I think it's very clear he like wants us to look at what we've done and face up to it. <laughs> Um, then they sort of start telling us how, you know, it is kind of a jokey thing, but at the same time, the, the stands say, take one. And they do not, I checked, because I'm not a criminal. <laughs> they do not say, take one. They say something like, don't forget your pencil. And by God, did I not forget my pencil. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, um, it came to, you know, they say they were letting us, lightly, letting us off lightly with a year ban. Um, oh, I'm going to question it. Um, they took on mugshots, 
which was great. Um, and, and then, you know, we left empty-handed. Um, I mean, the rest of the day of Mornos was a bit of a blur, because it's kind of overshadowed by the whole being banned from Ikea for a year thing. Um, from the small memories I do remember, um, it was basically just convincing people that I had just been actually banned from Ikea for a year. Um, it took a lot of convincing for some people, it was great. Um, but, you know, I, I went to bed and I woke up the next morning. I went to the bathroom and I looked myself hard in the bathroom wall and I thought... <laughs> I really need to get a mirror. <laughs> I genuinely do not know where I can go and get one from now. 